Content over everything! Oh, right. Yeah, uh, yeah, hi Leon. Um, well, this morning when we visited the park, this is, I don't know, maybe some people have seen some of the videos I've, I've done, but for me, I was really interested to see <laughs> yeah, take some, take what parents photo. actually know about the new RSA curriculum that's been introduced to schools. So I was trying to uh, catch some people here walking around the park, get their attention, say, look, did you, did you want to have a little look? And I was going to invite them to just see some of the, some of the subject matter that their children will be, be exposed to in primary school. So, so what I did, when they say, oh yeah, let's have a little look. And I don't know, I don't know where you are on the close-ups, Leon, but, but here's just some of the content that, as you can see, this, this comes from a, a reputable source of gathered a variety of different RSA curriculum used by Sheffield City Council, Council Worcestershire, uh, East Sussex. So this is the material that is being used right now. And here you can see for seven year olds, you can see full frontal male nudity, female nudity, child nudity, and down to the real graphic kind of stuff where it actually shows the sexual intercourse there. Now, this, this still is quite tame in comparison to some of the stuff that we're going to see. But I know that lots of parents won't have a clue that their seven-year-old, when I was seven, and maybe when G was seven, we'd be having ladybird books read to us and stuff like that. We'd go and play in the, play in the playground and go home and pretend we were a variety of different things and we'd, we'd have a happy childhood. But now children, when they're walking home, they're, not only have they got their mobile phones where they can access stuff, you know, like you wouldn't believe, but they're actually having the society they live in colluding with all of this craziness to actually say this is the stuff that you do need to know. So anyway, I turned the page over and funny enough, there was a, uh, there was a lady standing there, I don't know, a lady of about 40 with her daughter there and the daughter must have been about 10, 11, 10, 11? Yeah. Okay. And I said, well, I said, what do you think about the RSA? And she was Norwegian and she didn't quite know what RSA meant. But I said, well, look, some of this stuff is being uh, shown to five-year-olds, I said, look, in, in this country. And I said, would you be happy with, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to use the language, I don't really want to, but so five-year-olds will be taught about masturbation. They'll be taught, taught about oral sex, orgasm, lesbian, homosexual, incest, erection. And then I got to this and I said, you wouldn't want... You know, and I didn't want to talk because the girl was 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 kind of listening, and I kind of and I said, "Is it okay?" And she said, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." And uh, so I said, "Well, would you would you be happy with someone putting the concept of anal intercourse into your daughter's mind?" She said, "Sure, yeah. What's wrong with that?" And which kind of made me double take, and I thought, "Well, she's saying this in front of her young daughter." So I, I said, well, well, don't you think that that's something that they shouldn't know? And uh, she said, well, why not? Men do it, women do it. She said, men and women do it as much as, as homosexuals do it. I said, I've never heard that. I've never heard that this practice of anal intercourse is now being practiced amongst married heterosexual couples. She said, yeah, sure, sure. And I said, well, but, and, and, and while we were talking, I was, I was looking at the girl thinking, I, I don't even want to have this conversation with you, but you seem to be happy. So, you know, we'll just, we'll just carry on. So what she, what she fight, was actually saying that she said she feels her daughter should know this even younger. She thinks all people should have access to all this kind of thing as young as possible to help them avoid abusive relationships. Now, if you just focus on, on that last statement, in order for children to avoid abusive racial, um, to, uh, uh, relationships, they need to be sexualized at the earliest possible time, prepubescent. So for them, the, this is just a case of keys and holes. It's not about relationships whatsoever. It's not even about human beings. This is something for me far darker than that. So we start to have this conversation and Mr. I, fantastic, there you are, look at IC3, he, he joined in as well and he, he took a more measured view and was, you know, uh, probably a bit wiser than I was, but when um, I asked her, what, what moral framework do you use to govern what you think children should see? And I forget what she said. What, do, you, do you remember what that was? 
Imperative. Yeah, she said, well, it's all to do, yeah, the categorical imperative. And by, by now, she'd established this woman, the mother of this girl, was a practicing clinical psychologist. This educated, intelligent, affable woman, Norwegian woman, who was talking about how extolling the virtues, actually, of anal intercourse, because she said there's lots of pleasure buttons and things like that. She, she was getting into the nuts and bolts in front of her 10-year-old daughter. And I, I think I found that probably the most disturbing thing because this was someone who wasn't uh, like the classic picture of the old pervy and, you know, the ones who the bottom feeding kind of people who, you know, you would say to your children, avoid. This was somebody who presumably is at the pinnacle of this new ideological kind of, um, I won't call it, enlightenment. So, so at the end of the day, I came away from that very, very depressed. But while we've just got COE's camera there, I don't know, he's no one there to focus. But we'll just have a look at this. East Sussex, Worcestershire again, Herefordshire. Children are being taught anal intercourse bisexual, anus, clitoris, homosexual, homophobia, incest, lesbian, masturbation, oral sex, prostitution and orgasm. So when they come running in and mummy says, what did you learn at school today? If the people who are watching this don't understand the gravity of the change that has taken place and will continue to take place, because I think G agrees with me, I still don't think we've seen anything yet, but the oh, process right of sexualizing minors is a route to something I think that G will probably help you with, uh, show you a bit more about. But what I'll say to anyone who's watching this who's a parent, whose children go to school and will be taught RSA because you don't have the right to withdraw them anymore, your children, when they come home and they put their heads on their pillows, it's not going to be Famous Five, it's not going to be Br'er Rabbit, it's going to be this kind of filth. What do you do then? You give them their mobile phone, they can access and they can interact with... Honestly, parents, if you can't see what we can see, then I don't know if it's too late for you, but I hope that just this short introduction into RSA will make you think that perhaps you should get down and investigate this topic. So I'll pass over to G, yeah. Thank you, Paul. And you've got some brilliant data there. See, that's why it's... Um Many hands make light work. Colin's had a lot of research there that I haven't got. Thank you yeah, very much, no, mate. And um, vice versa, hopefully. So I'm not going to go into the teachings and the mechanics of the guidelines of what's coming. Colin's covered that more than well enough. But this one, so now you've seen that. Now, can we put that in your mind? I mentioned in the last video I done last week, it was Safer Schools campaign. Here we go. This is sexism in schools, a lot of sexism in schools, that's another issue, but that's a lot of why a lot of the trans girls or female, biologically female girls are turning to trans, uh, to the clinic because of bullying than sexism, that's another, for another day. But this is it's Safe Schools Alliance UK, putting safe, safeguarding first. Uh, that's the website you go to, so just have that in your mind, what Cole's just gone on about. And this is what I'm really here for. I can talk about other bits and give you plenty of stories and the headlines, but this is the nitty gritty. This is what you're doing it for. Right, the new, the new term. So this is what you have to start printing these off. There's, like I say, there's a template there. They've done all the work for you. You just have to do the work for you and your family now. Put your name and address in there and ask what Collins just showed you. You'd have, by law, you have to be shown that. And that the headmistress explains if you don't agree with it, which I think 99 points, yeah. everyone will want yeah. Anyone with any moral fibre or any mm. uh, care for their psych the psychological uh, welfare of their child will definitely won't want them seeing any of that. We all know that, it's a no-brainer. Mm. So you, what you'd like to do is have examples of the work that your child's going to be taught and who's going to be teaching it, and that's the letter that will get you that. So you go to the website, again, I'm going to repeat myself like they do, Repetition is part of mind control, you've got to keep repeating. So, Safer Schools, Safer Schools Alliance UK. Safer boss me one sec, boss me one sec. 
Yeah, yeah that was important. the important bit. The no, but remember, each school in, is individual. They bring their own yeah, sort of yeah, level of... Yeah, yeah, Oh, there'll be an interesting one to say that uh, Stonewall, who are the providers of lots of these curriculums, I, I, if you I, I, don't I, I, take yeah. those, Ofsted will downmark you. So if you want a good Ofsted report and you want to show positive LGBT kind of thing, you get your SRA so that's from... Fun in, that's funneling in, funneling you into one it, Exactly, yeah, because I then the funding in. goes up as the Ofsted hold it, hold calls it. go up. Hold it, hold it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know where we were, I don't were know before, where we were but, but I was just saying to, um, to G there that what we hope to do, hopefully over a series of these meetings, is to show material to either you who are watching or for you to pass on to your brother, sister, people who've got children at school and say to them, this is going on now. The materials that your nieces, your nephews, your six-year-olds, their minds, I'm going to go back because we're not quite sure what Leon managed to capture. Yeah. They'll be coming home with the concepts of anal sex, clitoris, oral sex, all of these kind of things. And this will be part of their childhood. Now, this is an important thing to remember. When you, people who are watching who are adults, remember your childhood. It wasn't this. Your children and your loved ones, your small ones, when they look back as adults to their childhood, this will be what they'll look back to. Traumatic. And can you imagine Traumatic. how bleak and mentally damaging the only place you can go to forget the stresses of the world, which we go back to, which is our childhood famous five playground, they'll go back to rubbish, scum, demonic things like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to give you the information, we're going to give you the sources, and if that doesn't provoke you to respond, and if you could hold your letter up again, yes, mate. what G is saying, at the very least, if you can fill in one of these forms and send it off, you will have done an heroic act in the defense of your children's purity and their innocence. Because children and purity and inno innocence are synonymous. They go together. So if we can show you the stuff, we can tell you what the minimum, look, it will take, how long will it take to do that? You, you Two minutes. Two print, minutes. Print it off, put your details in there, post it or in better hand deliver it to your hand deliver headmistress or master on Monday yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Done. for sure, for sure, for sure. On mass, give, yes. give them a pile like that. And all you want to do, by law, you yeah. can see, you have to, by law, you, you can see, you have to have examples of the sex education side of it, the gender um, uh, uh, curriculum side of it for sure and what will be the last bit I always get confused yeah yeah no don't worry but about anyway that. you yeah, want to yeah. see it all for you sure. want to know and who's going to be teaching yeah, just just before I pass over to G yeah, the to, sexuality to carry side on see G I don't know if you saw that one but this is mummy laid this, this book is called mummy laid an egg well look Can at the books look? they're promoting Cole with yeah. the uh, Amazon go on mate oh yeah 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 see but this is done in a in a very child friendly scribbly way for five year olds who will see all of these funny antics that, that it's beyond relationship. There is no relationship going on here. That whole idea of connecting sex, 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 sex exactly. has nothing to do with relationship. This is things that From animals, even just animals sex, don't take do away it that like that. Relationship. This, so please, please take this seriously. George, Very seriously. G, G will fill you up with the history behind it and the gravity of yeah. what's going on and also the layers that this is operating at. Many because layers. it's in nearly every layer. It's in the church, it's in parliament, it's in all of these different things. But G will take it one step at a time because at the moment all I'm going to do, I'm going to keep appearing in the park. Maybe we can wake up a few parents who will pull their children out of the fire and they'll thank their parents and say, I'm so pleased you gave me a childhood. Thank you anyway, George. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Thanks, Cole. I don't know how far we've got what, what Leon recorded, but just to get back to look, that is part of the gender spectrum. So if they, you've got a drag queen coming into the school, for example, a drag queen trying to explain to the little ones about what gender they might be, which is a fallacy as well. We can go in deep to that in another day. But that's the gender unicorn and different symbols to signify what gender. That's just going to confuse kids. I'm no psychologist, far, 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 far from it, but I'm not silly and I've got common sense and, and most people I suggest out there are the same as me, unless you uh, you can see that's that's not acceptable to teach kids to try and figure out stuff like that. There's no need to teach, there's, there's two two genders, male and female, boy, uh, male and female, a little boy or a little girl, and if they're unfortunate enough to have gender dysphoria, which only one in 
20 to 40,000 kids may suffer from, and if they do suffer from it, it's facts, I've got the data there, of many mm. professors, 80% desist. So that's another whole story, yeah. we leave the, the, that part of it. But importantly, sorry, sorry yeah. Cole, no, you're getting back, that's BBC, and we know what the BBC is infamous for, covering up per sexual deviant, he's not even a sexual, monsters like Jimmy yes. Savile. Yes. So we've got sexual intercourse, uh, sex and education, that's, and I think this is about seven or eight year old. Look, in a nutshell, any sexual, let's just keep it to mm. it, basics, any sexual education, this is my, my stance, any sexual education to children before 13, 14, I think in secondary school, to mm. keep moral fibre in society and the family keep it in their house, don't mention mm. it like the old days, you go to school and kids just mm. birds and the bees or whatever, right? Yeah. And especially because especially you don't just have to battle the state, you have to battle, which I'll show later, mass media and the way they sexualise children with dance mums and uh, I'm, I'm whatever Essex and kids, it's just become, everything's just got to be about sure. you're the self and looking beautiful and, you know, looking how you're going to attract a partner. Yeah. So that's that's social contagion. Do you know kids what, do you know what Jay, them, just, just to very briefly, that. when you were talking, I thought to myself, what else do they get? But this, whether it's the way they look, which is just all part and parcel of the sexual that's kind of thing. Get. That's all that children are given. I've and got I'm thinking the data that's... there as well. Ooh. 80% oh. if in the last 20 years, and it's most children more, it's a bit old, but yeah. in a nutshell, sexual content for ages, that age range from, I don't know, 7 to 15 has risen. It's risen. Sure, And sure. it's risen for a reason, not because, oh, that's time's moving on. No, it's an agenda where it's, yeah? Yeah, but here's yeah, another yeah, one. yeah. Books about the birds and the bees for toddlers and preschools. Uh, so more sexualising the kids and this book that is it right if you're going to like now you've, everything's LGBT but I believe well not believe it's the fact that is if it wasn't for heterosexual love and even better a loving long lasting relationship like the old days like mm. our grandparents you're for with sure, someone for yeah, life yeah, through yeah. thick and thin that's yes. thrown out the window now because you're teaching kids about grinder or tight kind or whatever it is for flipping sure. so you don't that promiscuity yeah. it's yes. like old hat who, who yeah, really there's meets no, no, no commitment no love no nothing no like family, that it's, it's, it's like, just yes. mechanical and it's just yeah, yeah it's, sex yeah and they're teaching really, kids from really a young is. age yeah. so if you see this kid's book right if you see a kid's book with this book, it's produced by a turf. A turf is basically um, a lesbian or a feminist who disagrees or has opposition to mm. the trans, uh, yeah. a trans man. So, yeah. oh, sorry, a trans woman, which is basically a biological man who may, now in fact, doesn't even have to transition, which makes it even more insulting for not just turfs, as they call them, who mm. may be strong feminists or or lesbians, but just your good old average woman like my mother, yeah. who. And most, well, most of colleagues, all our mothers, the old school mums, when they go into a woman's toilet, there can mm. be a man in there, and it's been proven he could. I'm not saying all, but it's been proven mm. there has been cases a sexual deviant doesn't have to have any transition at all. Just right. actually in Leeds, you can ring up mm. and say, I ID, I self ID as. For sure, just ring them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might Colleen. Well, yeah, we yeah. might as well put or, or his mugshot, mugshot Yeah, up we've there. got him. Go on, Cole. Yeah, look, um, as G was saying, that. Um, this is a biological male who, who is still attracted to women, who is a double rapist. You would not think there was any way that society today, benevolent society, would do anything but incarcerate this man and keep him well away from women. But you know what this chap did, a very interesting bloke? He transitioned while in prison and he gave himself a new name. Basically, he put lipstick on and a wig. Now, they brought this rapist, twice convicted rapist, to a woman's prison. Now, the prison governor would have access to his file. He'd know every single thing about him. But because of the, the group think and mind control and I don't know what kind of thing you could say, that what happened was... State every, guidelines every, as well. Every red, every, every red light, every bell that was going off saying, do not put this man anywhere near, near any women. Because he said he was now a woman, they put him in a, in a woman's prison. And while he was in a woman's prison, he attacked two women and sexually assaulted them. Now, that should have been the, the fault line that says this has really got to get looked at. Nobody knows about it. This is one of those incidences that very, very few they people They don't publicise this. They don't want to because it and doesn't uphold their arguments. Exactly. They've got an arm. And 60% of trans women who are biological men who call themselves women retain their opposite sex attraction. Now, get that. They are lesbians born in men's bodies who demand access to female safe spaces. Now, 
I don't know if we need to unpack that anymore, but we're standing on the verge of something so terrifying. We've moved a bit on from the RSA, but this is all part of it because today's educational system would, would, would grant this man the right to self-identify and give him the green light to access to refuges, yes. to uh, single-sex swimming baths, changing rooms, a whole host of other things. Drag queen story Drag, which has e happened exactly. so, in America. So I thought, I just while we're here, just again, maybe to to wake you up, because this is what our, primarily our job is, is to try and wake people up to the danger that is was not going to happen, that is happening now on our watch, because our generation is a generation who straddle what's happening now with the past, our grandparents, as you said. If we don't bring the truth to you now and try and panic you, let's say, to, to spur you to do something to protect your children or at least to, to stand up and, and let your voice be heard, be heard in the this is this for me is more important than the second world war well what's going to happen life. in you only 30, get one shot that's it exactly you only get one yeah shot. 30 years down the road as as g was saying and he pointed and i think this is perhaps for me i'll, I'll pull out after this but i think this is perhaps where we're going to end up in the next few kind of talks that we do and it was you know when i when i found this it was I don't know if I can even find it, but it was to do with the uh, the paedophilia, sexualising of children. The bottom line is that at the end of the day, that's going to be what happens. And soon parents will sit here and say there's nothing wrong with that. It's great. Oh, look at a lady this morning. Exactly. No, the lady, the clinical psychologist, flipping hell. Excuse my French, yeah, come no, on. No. That's mind-boggling. Yeah, oh, here we are, I found it. This is from the BBC. Paedophiles need help not condemnation i should know sex and relationships health and well-being i'm going to put that right up there bbc auntie they used to call it didn't they bbc saying paedophiles need help not can condemnation they will build on that that's their opening gambit and soon people will be compassionate to paedophiles and then they'll start to be loving towards paedophiles and then they'll start to look at how horrible paedophiles were treated and they will do the same thing with paedophilia as they've done with all these other things but anyway G, you carry on and no, you're bring on the, the right knowledge track. Bring you're, the on knowledge the, you're on the right track it's going to happen um, what can I say so where are we at we've really look the paedophile stuff we can go there but look again get that repetition repetition mm. please send it it's not yeah, going to yeah. do a, yeah. it's not and where did they get that from George? G. Safe Schools Alliance UK. And you can get that on the... Just, go just their, Google it. Go to their website. We all know how to use it. You're right. all on there with all your apps. Just go yeah. to Safe Alliance School, Schools UK. Get the template of the letter and protect your kids and just get the ball rolling. And all you want to do is see it. See the, the, um, what, what your sex education is going to be. That's the first start. But mm. if I had a kid, well, I've got my godson and he knows where yeah. he knows. I've talked to him for years. So yeah. he's, he's on the ball. Yeah. So, and he comes he's a very yeah, yeah, he's, he's very fortunate. So, yeah. yeah, so I don't know where do you want to move on to now? Right. You mentioned the paedophilia side mm. of it. That is, look, that's why I believe they're sexualizing the kids. Why, other, what other reason would you want to teach kids sexual acts, sexual deviant acts mm. at that, even worse, right? Any sort of sex to teach heterosexual children deviancy to teach them promiscuity, sexual deviant acts, and they'll fuzzy their brain even further when you've got all this, what gender do you want to be? Mm. And you do that to an impressionable kid, just to a normal, well, I say normal, a kid without any mental issues, with any, any mental health issues, yeah. right? So if a kid's got anxiety, because they, they feel a bit bullied or a bit lonely in the school, or they may have, uh, they or, may be a girl with autism, and autism, they may be uh, homosexual, there's many, many different uh, mental disorders that can uh, send them to the transgender clinic mm. and then once they're there we can got all the data for that they're rubber stamped to be yeah mutilated or well, sure. at first stage is the puberty blockers which haven't been tested we can go that down all that road but yeah. getting back on track with the sexualization of kids and it's getting they'll sexualize them then the next stage will be the, the paedophile uh, route i ain't gonna do we don't need the trans stuff we can fast forward, we've got social contagion. This is right. Mm. The big thing now that's happening is, I don't know, most people have heard of this one here. Amazing Desmond. We'll get onto this because this is important. Mm. This is the Amazing Desmond, 11 year old. By the way, what we just mentioned, autistic mm. young man. That's an autist, it's autistic and he's, 11 and he year isn't, old boy. No, what people, you've got to make this definition now. Mm. A lot of people haven't researched it maybe as much as Colin and I, is you've got transgender and everyone thinks, right, it's just one, banner one size fits all but it's not when you look at it as for what it is a mental disorder 
with a little boy, for example, for him, he, amazing Desmond, you're trying, oh, he's trans, this, trans, that. No, it technically, when transvestite, the word was made, it was basically to identify a homosexual man. And sometimes it may, the man may not even be homosexual. Okay. It may just be a man that wants to identify as a woman, not mm. permanently, mm. a transvestite. Okay. Put the clothes on, act as a woman, blah, blah, I'm a lady, don't you know, blah, mm. blah, and then go back down the office or go back into the court and put his wig back on yeah. behind the... And Make sentence. some laws up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or back... <laughs> anyway, that was, that's, that's, another, that's another chapter as well. But getting back on track, right? Once they... It could be... All seriously, there's autogynophilia, there's gender dysphoria, and many different... Uh, here we go. Here's a good example I've got mm. here, which is... It's a paraphilia, basically. It's a paraphilia, which is um, a fetish. It can be a fetish um, where you believe, like I say, I apologise, it's not here. Mm -hmm. I've got so much. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'll find it. But getting back to it, yeah. that's a drag quid. And then you've got drag male autogynophilic men going to schools and libraries and mm. ad reading the sort of de sexually deviant books I've just showed. Yeah. So if you've got autogynophilic man, Talking yes. about that book you've just seen on Amazon, Daddy is Taboo, but we can't, I can't remember the title, I've forgotten it pretty quick to be honest. Yeah, but the book yeah. I just showed you, sure. the example, right? Yeah. And here's another example, right? This to me is a crime. There's a lot of crimes that just get brushed under the carpet because they normalise it with a rainbow and diversity and love is love. But that's the 11 year old boy basically in a strip club in New York receiving money. And I wouldn't just say that's a gay man, that would most probably be a homosexual man who likes having sex with little boys or is attracted mm. at least to little boys. What else would do that uh, hum uh, heterosexual, normal man, normal moral, morally, sexually uh, pure man would do that? This is the other one in Cornwall. This one was twerking in front of the kids. You've seen this one, Cole? Oh, twerking. Drag queens ch twerking. So twerking in front of children, schools. that's a sexually, uh, what you do, I don't twerk myself, I don't know if you do Cole, we're a bit old for it, but I think the sexy girls with mm. bums in a nightclub doing it to guys, that's fair enough, yeah. but you don't have a gender dysphoric or autogynophilic man doing it to young kids in a library anywhere in England, in the world to be honest, twerking is a sexually uh, mm. provocative action, right, and it's not nice to show kids, and this mm. is the here, and when they say, oh, drag queens are just... Um, uh, just dress up and they try and normalize it there's a lot of videos yeah. i can show but it's not it's a, a sexual fetish sexual deviant fetish like i say from the paraphilia mm. family sure. and here's another one this is very telling this is called pissy miles pissy the pedo wow that's right <laughs> pissy the pedo so pissy the pedo i don't have to say anything so when you get i've got a video of um a drag queen doing a presentation in America right. and when they're doing a the presentation not for children yeah but when they're doing the presentation she's recommending right kids if you want to uh, go and explore drag queens any further go and look at old witch so these no. this uh, a drag queen is recommending little kids and their parents to go and look at old witch uh, look that's enough you've seen enough old witch oh. PCP don't wow. blah, blah. Oh, yeah, here's another yeah, one yeah Whatever his name is. There's another one. I didn't want to waste any paper on the person, so I yeah. but I've remembered it. It's, it's imbe embedded in my psyche. Yeah. And it was recommended by a, a drag queen at, I think, at sure. an event. And the drag queen's called Divine. And yeah. in the drag queen circuit scene or whatever, that 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 paraphilic see, there's the paraphilia oh, yeah. table, right? Mm. That's the paraphilia. That's what it really is. That's what they don't want to show you. Mm. That's what it really is. All these that yeah. to that. But they'll put a rainbow on that and put it in yeah. a li put that in a library and you've got to accept it. Yeah. They don't want to show you what it really is. We're dealing is with stepping stones. Fetishism is sexual arousal from an object. So they put objects, there you go. So they've got many disorders there. Uh, oh, really? Transvestic disorder engaged in cross-dressing associated with intense distress or impairment. Or gynophilia, right? Oh, they, they just change the name sure. and put a rainbow on it and make it sociably acceptable. With a little well, unicorn and a few stars and you're there, there you aren't go, you? But that's, you, that's you what you should over. be thinking about. That's yeah. what it is. Do you want your child yeah. going yeah. over with yeah? something like that? Okay. I hope yeah. you can see it for the camera, but I've got a yeah. pair of a paraphilic disorders table. Sure. And where was I? There was something else I'd touch on, which is very important, right? Mm, yeah. You've got the drag queens 
but a lot of people don't know this. In the drag queen or the gay uh, scene or community, yeah, sure. they, it's uh, not even frowned upon. It's sort of part of the scene and it's yes. called a new chicken hawk. So it's based a homosexual man and a chicken hawk is a homosexual man whose primary attraction is young boys. So what do you chicken, see him? What they? do you think? He's holding there, look. At the Mardi Gras or whatever. Oh, Hi guys, that's my a, word. So if you get a drag queen who's a chicken hawk going to they that. call in as you say in the scene they homosexuals homosexual men in the in the homosexual scene they call prepubescent boys chicken Chickens. and, and they the call chick older people rough trade and chicken is the most prize the prize dish for these characters and just to remember where well, I've, I've veered off course a bit damn. we were talking about um, the drag queen doing a presentation and then mentioning um, or uh, recommending other drag queens if you want to go and sure. see other cool drag queens like me and she recommended she yeah, yeah. Re sorry guys he yeah. recommended pieces like that and then you've got Lady Div or Lady Divine sure, or whatever it is sure. and she's famous in the scene I lost track I've got to say if you're eating a Sunday dinner I apologise but I can only yeah. bring you the truth Lady Divine or Divine Drag Queen you can google it she's famous for being in a drag film and she's very she's famous for um, eating dog shit I can't say anymore there you go. Wow, so that's the sort of AR, funny sure. enough. And that is called, it has, it, that's in a paraphilia uh, group of mental disorders. Or And that's, look, know. copophilia. And it's the good old Pope that let me know about that. Thank you, your papalness, whatever you call him. Right, copophilia. And that's when they like eating shit or playing with shit or shitting on each other. So that is a, a fetish. The point is, that is a yeah. fetish on the paraphilia, on that. Okay. Okay. But they try and rainbow it and just hey, for sure, right? For sure, and these are sure. sort of people. Look, there's amazing Desmond again. Yeah. Right. Oh my God. Uh, oh, family's not Desmond. that's BBC. Sure. Yeah, sure. this is important. So you have got opposition within that that scene. Look, drag queen warns mums not to expose kids to filth of drag and ruin their child's life. So that it's is this, sight, this yeah. gorgeous drag queen. Now, good luck to you, Kitty Demore. You're being honest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He says that it should be. Oh, he's be actually left. saying that. Yes. Yeah, so he yeah. says the truth. You should be just for adults. I've for looked sure. at a drag queen in Compton Street. I've got no issue. If you're real grown ups, yeah, have a laugh yeah, or whatever yeah, it's what yeah, it's all about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you've got to remember if that's what it is, it's a laugh. Remember Danny, yeah, Danny LaRue. A man will not know yeah. what, what it is to be a woman because he's a man. You can for put sure. as much makeup on, you'll only know what it's like to be a woman if you're a woman. This is common sense. Yeah. So that's why they over exaggerate with their fetishism. For sure. Because they think. I've got to be this. I've got to be that. That's why they have to be Keep drama queens. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, blah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because all they're looking to. Yeah, that's just common sense. I know. Right? I you know, don't need I a know. psychology. Can I chuck in that. one nugget that fits in? It Go dovetails on, with what you're saying there. Now, now, now. This is a drag queen who is reading books like Tilly the Transgender. Teddy comes out to kindergarten children. But the most important thing I think is that one of the justifications for exposing children to this is, this is what the drag queens say they want to target two and three year olds to influence them early as they say at this age children have not yet developed any discriminatory Correct. isms think of that they want to get to two and three year olds early because that they say children haven't developed any discriminatory isms what in effect they're saying is they haven't developed the natural resistance to these perversions that most normal people of exactly. our generation so they'll have. think it's normal the, exactly normalized so, so that there for you me go. out of everything that g has said is probably the scariest thing that i've ever heard is this drag queen has told us, given us no uncertain doubt, that the reason they're aiming for children younger and younger and younger is to get them before they have any sense of what normality is. So or couple, morality, yes. Cu couple that, or morality, couple that with the Norwegian psychiatrist woman who felt it was perfectly acceptable for her daughter to know about anal sex and in, a, in a heterosexual relationship. This is what we found down at Hyde Park today. We're bringing it to you and we've said some things that you don't want to hear. You've said some things we don't want to say. You've heard some things we don't want to say. But we're trying to provoke you to explore this for yourself. And if you've got children and you can help them avoid this by doing this simple thing, Google, get that, download it, fill it in, take it to your school, start to join the defense, the pushback. We haven't got much time to save, to save your, child, your children's childhood. 
because that's the thing that we're talking about. Innocence, purity, childhood. Give them 12 years, then they're going to have to face the world. But if you want to rob them of their foundation before that, well, you know, me and, jo me and G ain't going to stand. We're, we're, we're committed, aren't we? Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. I don't know, G, you've probably got some other last oh, little bits. Oh, I don't know. Or... The last little bits. Look, you've just got this. Look, social contagion is a big part of it. And social mm. contagion has yeah, many it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a, te a case a three year old changes gender from a boy to a girl after being sent to live with foster parents whose own son, this, this is important, whose own son had just transitioned to become a female age seven. So if that isn't social contagion, I'll give yes. examples that kids are kids when you want to fit in or mm. blah, blah. My friend of mine, not even relating to that, a friend of mine, yeah. we're talking and his friend, his uh, brother broke his arm when he was a kid and they was poor. Okay, and then yeah. all the families come round and started adorning him with presents. Oh, Steve, you're all right, right. And okay. he's there with nothing still. Yeah. If I go and break my arm, yeah. will I get what he's The attention got? seeking, exactly. yeah. But if you're doing that with an autistic kid and you see, look him in dresses and I want to try yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Simple, bang. S and suddenly you, I'm the centre. From yes. being on the outside, Especially I'm Especially don't have to be autistic. He's going to be yeah. his peer pressure ever. But when sure. you've got a kid like that, Mm. That's a fact. And it was a test case. More importantly, it went. The council want to take the um, child off the parents again. Right. And because of school, the school were complaining about it. But this judge here in his wisdom uh, yeah. let the family keep the child and also put gag in order saying the council can't investigate any further. further. And that's called rapid onset gender dysphoria. That's what they call that now. Mm. That's a whole other subject. We most probably go down the, tra the yeah, trans bit sure, another sure. day. But we've got all yeah. that locked off. Yeah. But in fairness, I've got to just finish off with the drag queen bit right just to show how nasty it's got and where it's going it's going basically when you normalize the drag queens and the drag kids yeah this is a nice one. I like this why are parents to blame for the sexualization of their children I'm a grown-up I can look at Miley Cyrus and think yes she's gorgeous Sexually she's, but I think she's, a, anyway, we don't have to go there. She's not my type, she's brain dead. Yeah, but more, more importantly, look, stuff like that. And look at all the arms of the adoring kids looking up to her. There's your answer, yeah. right? Yeah, you're letting your kids watch people like that and be a role model. That's one of the reasons, right? They're about the same age as that girl who visited the park with the mum. There you go. No, that's yeah. their, they grew up with her. The children. So there's yeah. that, there you go. Why are parents, there you go. Yeah. Essex Beauty Salon for kids criticised for sexualising kids for 13. What was you talking about earlier, Cole? Yeah. Too young? Yeah, it's I all know. me, me, me. You've got to look beautiful. I've got yeah. to look beautiful. Why? Too Go and much, read a book. Too much, too young. Yeah? And this is what I found fun. This is a funny one. Hajibs apparently are sexualising little girls. How can you say that when I've just looked at these girls in tutus at eight years of age? That is, that's keeping their mm. innocence. I mm. think they yeah. look cute in there a little bit. Yeah. Just going to school, they're, more, they're not sexualised like those, I'll tell sure. you that. Yeah, given a choice. Right. Yeah, and this yeah. is back important, what I mentioned the other week, look. And this is where they do, oh, look, I've even uh, noticed this headline. <laughs> Islamist group targets children at risk from gay, yeah. See the way they word it. It's just mm. some decent men who don't want their kids to talk what yeah. we've just talked about. Not yeah. an Islamic group, decent men. Mm. Religion doesn't matter, just decent men who don't want their kids. I'm not religious, yeah. I don't know what you are. Yeah, I am, no, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Just de he's Colin's a decent man, I'm a decent man. Yeah. They're decent men sticking up for their kids and the future kids that will roll into this sex when it starts getting for embedded sure. into for it sure. and it's normalised even further. Yes. You've got to stop it now. Yeah. Right, yeah. LGBT protest. So that's the family. We've got the picture of the guy last. This is Tatchel I mentioned last week who's um, mm. basically been an advocate for paedophile, I've got all the data on this one, yeah. advocate for paedophilia for a very long time, oh, yeah. and he's patron for one of the yeah. educational organisations that rolls out there. For so that, sure. that's another for dot sure. connector. If they oh don't yeah, yeah. Like I remember him outside the Houses of Parliament with a banner saying 16 is just the beginning. Now they want to, first of all, they wanted to equivalise heterosexual and homosexual acts and then really race to get the, uh, the age limit lowered and lowered and well, lowered. Well, written that paper, friends mm. of mine, Friends of mine were uh, had sex when they were were ten or whatever, okay. and now it hasn't traumatised then. So to ask yeah. a ten-year-old kid or whatever, how was it when you had sex? Or how was it when you was raped by Jimmy Savile? Yeah. How was yeah. it when you was raped or even touched by that piece of shit? Excuse my French. Yeah. Cyril Smith. Yeah. Cyril Smith. Have no. you seen the state of him? No. That would traumatise you. How could any kid? And the way they'll get round it. 
This is the way they're going to normalize. Oh, look yeah. at this one here. Uh -huh. This is what I thought was tragic. And if anyone wants to crowdfund me, yeah. I want some contacts in Gambia so you can yeah. film these pieces of shit that go there <laughs> and get these poor kids. And then when they come back to England, you can expose Gambia. them. Gambia. Yeah. yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they profile drug dealers or drug mules. For sure, for sure. Why are you yes. going to Gambia unless you're going to rape kids? Yeah. Look. Yeah, Oxfam look were pretty kid, good at look, that as well, weren't they? Huge in, uh, numbers of predators 80. are taking advantage of lax laws to poverty stricken African countries, blah, 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 two pound a time. And you're going about grooming games, got these pieces of shit going there and doing that. And this one going for a court injunction. You don't want him living next door to you. Look, you don't have to say anything, just read it. He wants to go to places like this and, and he's got the cheek to try and get our talk. taxpayers' money to try and get an in, to go there and do it. That's hate speech. If you even mention that, that's hate speech. To old me. enough to nicks. talk is old enough to have sex. Oh, that's yeah, good for you to remind me. Yeah. One of the mantras of that sex, what do I call it? Celebration, education, celebration right. organization. It was a uh, love at any age. Age is age has no age. For has, sure. uh, you know what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, age yeah. has no age. Love yeah, has no, no age. Yeah, yeah. Like and I think, I think G, G, G is going to bring this up as well. Here's when, another when, character. Yeah, Sorry, go on. No, you, you carry on. Look at this. I don't have to say anything. What does that guy look like? I'm not being cruel, right? Professor. Yeah, and what's he studying? He's doing studies on pederasty. How would you okay. want to study? Look at the smirk on him. Yes. So he's studying, they're just normalizing it yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. In a university, the taxpayers of America are paying for this piece, this, this, this sure. man, yeah, for to sure. do that. Pederasty. Sure. Yeah. Look, yeah. And you've got protests. Students want professor fired for writing about pederasty, but University of Texas say it's protected speech. Oh, we, so yeah. we've got hate speech that's protected speech talking yes. about kids getting raped sure. by grown men yes. in a university in a yeah. room of other adults is protected yeah and to misgender and I I to is to hate speech yes. to misgender some transgender speech. is hate speech that's how but this is to. protected this speech. is protected speech in a university a place of academia where people are learning sure. so that just shows we are really going to uh, yes. another place yeah hey, another one professor Rutgers because is that right? Because called right yeah. professor who says paedophilia yeah. is not a crime. They For just sure. normalise it here and there. And this is a woman as well. Yes. Can maps move to make paedophilia normal and find redemption? Another story okay. just to normalise it. For sure, it. And yeah. a map to anyone who doesn't know is a minor attracted, well not in my world, right. but in their world where they're trying to do new speak, sure. it's minor attracted person. And then yes. even further, they're going to try to normalise it and sugarcoat even more by saying no map which is a non-offending, minor attractive person, right? Wow, and then, yeah, then they'll just yeah. normalise it. Oh, For John's sure. right, he's a nomad. For sure. No. Can, I, can I just say something, G? What we've done has been expose some very, very dark materials and a dark future to you here on the camera. And I know that some of the stuff we're saying is, is re relentlessly evil. But please just be aware that this is where it's going. This this is this is where it is, and where it's going after that. We've we've, right, so we've shown we have enough sexualizing evidence. Sexualising the kids. That's, that's they're, they're trying to do that. And once sure. you've got a sexualised child, and he's someone like Amazing Desmond who's autistic, and then they'll say he'll have autogynephilia, which is basically an, an, a, a child's main uh, primary attraction would be to a adult male. So you normalise it that way. So when you've got that happening, which would be, oh Desmond, you like you like Tony, yeah, I think I love you. Oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah. gonna love you. Yes, you yeah. like Tony. You yeah. like Tony. And then you Desmond. can refer to the RSA. The way you show people you like them is to give them anal sex, and that's what will be uh, click in. But again, look, we're sorry, folks, to Teach have put you through this, but well, that's but, the way it's going. but this is the way it's. They're, this they're is way it's. They're gonna put your child through it. They're putting us all through it. Yeah, the evidence shows yeah, that, yeah, you know? Yeah, and what's yeah. the one I was just looking for? Uh, Paul, I forget um, which one that was. But I, 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 I think, uh, G, you shared this with me. He has the information and the historical kind of time timeline of where this came from. And he mentioned um, about 100 years ago in Germany. And, he, and next time we have one of these, if COE are happy to do it with us, he'll be able to show you the inevitability of what happened then and to where it's going. There you go. That's the sort of headlines they're putting out there. Just to normalise it, get you thinking, oh, it's in the mind. For sure, sort of for sure, for sure. Yeah. G, what do you think? Should we wrap it up now and just, just we again, maybe just do this? If you like you finish with this, yes. maybe, and then Is there hopefully... anything you want to wrap up? Yeah, just with yeah. Oh, yeah, no, go on, go on, yeah, yeah, before. we'll wrap up. Right, we'll wrap up after this. Yeah. Gerontophilia. 
this is a primary attraction to a, 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 a pre-teen or whatever. So right. if you Geronto, think, yeah. Geronto, so what's the opposite to Ger Gerontophilia? You don't have to call a friend, Cole. No. Pedophilia. Oh right, sorry, I call a friend, yeah. Like no, do you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, no, I look. do, yeah. So they normalise, oh, oh like, look, got it, yes, 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 gotcha, gotcha. And then it gotcha. rolls onto this, yeah, age gap yeah. love. They removed this tweet, this 15-year-old oh. boy met this guy who's, who's who's like Philip Schofield crying, thinking Philip I should, Schofield, I should be yes. so, oh look, I've got a boyfriend who's younger than me, please look, oh, it's all right, I'm here to support that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like father yeah. and son, I assume oh, they were father and son. They should be word. father and son, no, that's yeah, another yeah, one. Really yeah. yeah. And they met when he was 15. Philip Schofield, the boy was so 14, the boy was this 14. This boy here yeah. will suffer with gerontophilia, right? So you should say, Oof. no, you're not meant to, you're meant to find, if you are gay, fair enough, go and find right. a young boy, but you don't go look for nonces like this one here. <laughs> Absolutely so not. Lap you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. I think, and I think and that Philip, Sco Philip Schofield, there's a photograph of him and his brother have got this uh, organisation to introduce pe children in, or into the arts. And you can see the picture of Paul Schofield's 18-year-old boyfriend now when he was 14. So no, it I've don't you yeah yeah, yeah you're going to come up with that. On the show. He oh, was, was he as a runner run on the show? Well, well allegedly, oh. I'm not being held for sure. anything. Yeah, allegedly, yeah. so I've heard on the road, well, but yeah. apparently it was anyway. We'll leave yeah, it yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, uh, this Whoops. is a, this one last thing. Well, uh, do you want to show? I'm, so, I'm no, not to show you. That's the normal line. That's a bouncy castle nowadays. An LGBT exception event. Are you kidding me? Crack fiend bouncy castle. The kids are just to finish, just to show. Yeah, I could find you the source. I look no at the kids way, looking. I don't no have the way. Zooming. That's the kids. What is going on? I ain't got time to make it up. <laughs> I'm sorry you were there for that one. Oh. That's not real. That's, no, honestly, this now, if this doesn't fill you with anger and the resolve to rise up and do even the most minimum thing, which we beg you today, after you've watched this, go on your computer, Google this, download it, send it to your school. At the very least, it will make the school understand that you're a parent who is interested in what they are showing them and may cause them to back off. At the very least, do that, please. And the next time we talk, the historical background and the inevitability of where we're going, which G is the expert on. So, you know, thanks COE for giving us the opportunity. Yeah, we're sorry if it's been heavy going for some of you, but it needed to come out. It's come out and now, please God, you know, we're all gonna be a bit wiser and a bit more prudent. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks again, Leon. Yeah, again, yeah. Both. God bless you. Yeah, good man. I was hoping I was going to meet you here today. Right. It was a good, good soon. move. Yeah, take care. Bye. See ya. Yeah. From your Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. It's a bit much. Listen. All right, cool. Um, I've got to address a few points. Unfortunately, lately there's been a, a lot of claims made in uh, online, and uh, those claims have to be addressed. The claims, the reason it has to be addressed is, you see, unfortunately we've got a lot of people who are claiming that, who are basically claiming that ah, uh, you can't. Okay, it, it, it looks like people. Well, apparently people are saying that um, you can't criticize Islam. That's not the case. With some people, it may come across as like that, but that's not the case for me. You can criticize Islam as much as you want. I'm not insecure about Islam at all. What I don't like is that, uh, what I don't like are blatant lies to be per perpetuated. The reason I don't like blatant lies to be perpetuated, especially in this current climate that we're in, is simply because it has consequences on 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 on, on regular regular human beings, uh, regular Muslims, namely the majority that it tends to have a a consequence on tend to be women, and obviously none of us would like people to be harmed. 